Hey guys, Chit Fehdens here to introduce you to someone new and a few old ideas. If you're following our live streams, you've heard me talk about Blake. He's the one responsible for making those go as smoothly as possible, as well as coming up with improvements and troubleshooting for the channel in general. Now, filming Blake. This is Blake. <laughs> if you're enjoying what we've been doing or anamorphic, just the format, hit subscribe. The first time I sat with Blake, he said he had some ideas for videos. And the first one was using an anamorphic lens in front of a projector and watching a movie like that. And it kind of shocked me how I had actually never tried it before. So we decided to do it. In this video, we're going to show you what came out of it. It does sound a little stupid, I know. Many of our scopes are projection lenses and they come from film theaters doing the de-squeeze on the fly. There's nothing preventing us from putting them back to their original task. And we wanted to see if there was something to gain from it. Hint, there is. For the first part, I edited together a bunch of clips from the Atlas 40mm lens test and exported it still squeezed. I also squeezed an anamorphic test just for fun. That's that one. Then we went out and rented a projector, a screen, and jerry-rigged everything around it. To complete the picture, we made some popcorn and gathered a few friends to watch the montage. To be fair, we lured them in with the promise of watching something more fun. <laughs> Demo. What do you think of this experiment? It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts? <laughs> Did you guys find everything? Wow, there's a lot of popcorn. What did we learn from this experience? There is no free pixels when de-squeezing the picture in your editing software. But this concept changes once the image has a physical or, or a non-digital size. Our projector's original screen area was all right at first, but once we put the scope in front of it, it becomes huge. Second, the projector's original aspect ratio is 4 by 3, which extends to 2.66 really nicely. Next, and this one is harder to explain, the image gets some character. You know, when we say a lens is organic and it adds character to the footage, imagine if your computer monitor had character too and made everything in your screen a bit funky. This kind of comes to play when projecting through one of these DIY setup we made. The image gets fuzzier, but not blurrier. It doesn't feel digital. It doesn't feel like it's made out of pixels. And I love digital, so I'm having a mental breakdown to as I try to explain this. Uh, the lens adds some level of imperfection that transforms the whole picture. This weird texture plus an image that's much larger than a TV, uh, than a TV screen, really uh, created the vibe of going to a movie theater. And that's something that we've been missing deeply. I think the last time I went to watch a movie on a big screen was six months ago. We did have to squeeze the film though. And another hint, Media Player Classic lets you do that rather easily without re-rendering. And you can even see how much squeeze is being applied. We had the projector for a whole weekend and we watched movies every night, starting with Ridley Scott's classics, Alien followed by Blade Runner. It was great. I highly recommend looking for a projector if you got some scopes at home and you want to put them to their original use while watching films, of course. If you like this idea, why not like this video? The other thing that came to mind is some scopes have a super uneven distortion across the frame. The Elmo 2 I'm using here compresses the sides way more intensely than the middle. So we set out to compare how the image looks if we de-squeeze it in post versus de-squeezing it optically with the projector. If you want to know more about that, I suggest you become a member of the channel since that part of the experiment is only for members. And you can find the join button right under this video. I think it's on this side and the memberships are pretty cheap too. They also help us greatly with the costs of making these videos. Now, 
If you guys excuse us, there are films to be watched and we only have so many days with the projector. See you next week. Behadens out. <laughs>